Three shots, four part, I just do two, one pup, pop four, birdie, woo woo, new driver, info, replace, M2, pop five, fairway, what you fin do? Think I'll try to get on into start right, good line, good view, it drew, shoot him, make Gavin. All right, Tyler, tell us about the bags, we're good man. to go. Well, yeah, we're good to go. Tell us about the bags. Yeah, so four years in now. Uh, thanks again for doing this. It's been a while since I've been able to. Uh, to do one of these so it helps it helps me and it helps kind of get the point you know the point across and and all that but yeah just four years ago five years ago decided to make bags and didn't or just kind of just thought the bags you know could use a little little work and there hadn't really been much work done on those so decided to just start trying to figure out how to make my own bag basically and was trying to do it around town at first, getting it stowed, and then kind of went through and slowly evolved from there. So you're definitely right. The bag world could use some uh, some more creators in it for sure. Yeah, I, think I just feel like no one cares enough about it. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, it for sure. Yeah, uh, that's like exactly. People care about what their bag looks like, but no one has like the, I guess, energy I'm going to use, but the energy to go out and make it nicer bag for sure for sure i agree with that for sure i think it's something that like you know when we we kind of look look around for a bag it's really difficult to find one if you have like because we we all have like a different taste right so like i've got a bunch of head covers behind me and stuff like that that we for sure you know there's a, a lot of creators who are really good at it but there's not a lot of really good creators of bags that are really good at it so um like i can like name a few and they're expensive too they're very expensive right it's a it's got to be For a sure. lot to put them together so um what was like what made you want to to get into the bag making like do you have a background in that at all or was there like a story of just like we hear it all the time it's just uh <laughs> like i wanted to like find head covers that I liked, or I wanted to make a putter cover that I liked, or I wanted to make yeah. a piece of gear that I liked. Was it was it something like that for you? No, I would say yeah. It was more yeah. Me and my buddies just growing up, where we never the, just the new bags would come out, and we'd always just be like, oh, those are too big, those are too this, those are too that. Mostly too big, and they'd always they'd make the, the smallest one of the big brands. They would make smallest one still would be pretty big and just kind of look bulky, especially when we're in high school, you know? So I think I just saw that and then was like, well, why, why can't I just find this fabric, like this leather at this store and put this on a bag? Like, wouldn't that be sweet and do it to the size we want, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of looking at bags. I was kind of like, it doesn't look that hard, you know, like this isn't, a, we're not like building a computer over here. Like it's a bag. Yeah. It's a, it's a sock, you know? So just from there, I just decided, like, what if we did just kind of do it? And people, yeah, people found out about it and thought it was cool. And, yeah, next thing you know, I've been doing it four years. So I think it's just make something. I just made something I thought was cool. And then people were like, right on. That's, yeah, I like what you're doing over there. So nothing uh, crazy, but it's just been a fun journey. Yeah. How tough was the initial process? Like, I mean, I. Uh uh, head covers are, are hard to do hard to look make look really good but i mean they're not crazy hard to put together but i mean i feel like a golf bag is not something you can just throw together i mean like are you right putting, like, you, guys, you guys have like the plastic bottoms and stuff or are you totally all fabric all fabric now okay. um I'm, i was getting a made here but then i switched to doing it overseas but we've okay. we've just had an incredible uh it's just a streamlined operation where we can i can send a rendering just design it on my ipad and send it over there and then whatever bag and then we can just make it like that you know and we can print print your own designs which has allowed people to be creative and all kinds of leathers so i would say yeah that's kind of been the coolest part yeah. that's that's what drew it into me yeah yeah, I'm looking at one right now. There's like some with patterns and stuff like that. So is there like, do you have a certain model that you're working with right now? Or are there different models? Um, like do you have like different prototypes or different models within within your, uh, I guess, your lineup? Yeah, so I guess the only way to answer that is basically there's kind of just been one design that's that's just been slowly tweaked and tweaked here and there just for years. And now it's, 
it's at the current state of where it is, but I can definitely see ones from down the, you know, from the past and tell you when it was, when it was come, when it was made just on like the progress of steps. There's just small things that we change and we can change it so easily. It was the, was right. kind of the most fun part we're doing, we're doing like a low minimum style so we can, we could overnight just switch the pocket orientation, which I, I don't know, allows you to get to a place where you really enjoy what you have, what you have kind of come to. I like that. It's like one, one bag, one model, different iterations, I guess would be a way to. Yeah. It's just it, yeah. been evolving. So, so many times now that you've like taken it to like, you've outsourced it. Um, are you able to like, I guess, was it hard to, um, to get like the materials and stuff locally? Like, is that, is it, we've talked with a couple companies, like one of the ones I remember Dormy talking about the first thing that yep. they did when they went, they started going to Italy and like looking at some of their, um, different leathers and stuff like that. Right. So is it, is it, um, is it difficult like getting everything local, like for the size of these, like to make a bag? Like, I know, like you say, they're smaller bags, but, but to make something that's that quality, that big. You know, I think in terms of finding the leather, I think there's more stuff out there than maybe people might think. I mean, getting it, I don't get a ton here. I'll get it from the markets overseas as well. And find, finding that is tough. I guess you just got to know who can go over there and find who. You have to have someone over there who can find the fabric and, su- and stuff and that's honestly really important, but finding new stuff and new leathers is always interesting because if it is true leather, it's, it's done outside and they're not exact. They're not consistent, you know, they're, right. it's based on the weather and stuff like that. So I would say, yeah. Now are they, uh, are they full? Full, like 14 club bags like they're i know you said they're small but they still fit 14 yeah club problem or yeah so i've been rocking with six inch opening for the longest time which me and the people that i play with I, that's kind of what i base it off of and then what people send in mm-hmm. i'm pretty transparent and very like if, if i put a poll on that says should we do this or this i'm gonna listen to the percent every time you know um where was I going with this? I can't remember what your question was. Uh, 14 clubs in the bags. That oh, fit. 14 clubs. Yeah. yeah. So I, th- it works great for me. It's a little snug, obviously, cause it's six inch opening, but yeah. I've just, my philosophy has always been that like, why is the thing this big? It doesn't yeah, yeah. need to be this big. It only needs to be this big mm-hmm. and it just looks way smoother and it's way more maneuverable if it is that small. Mm-hmm. That's always well, been my thing. I just, just seem too big for no reason. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And if people are looking at your bags and want that minimalistic, smaller look, I mean, I think they're, as long as the 14 clubs can fit, I think they can deal with a little bit of, of tugging and pulling. Cause that's 100%. Because right? that's a giant turnoff, though, is not fitting 14 for sure. Correct. I know, like, a lot of people are into the half sets and stuff now, but there are a lot of people like myself that will probably never go out with a half set. And that's like for a sure. Course. Which is and most I, people. And I do like the minimal, like I have a Sunday bag that I just sometimes will throw my clubs in and take it just because I want to. So for sure. Yeah. But I would say you're right. The masses aren't, they don't want to do a small bag. They want to know that it can fit, that it can fit their full set. And I think what I'm trying to do anyway is kind of meet those two things in the middle usability as well as trying to make something that does look really sweet. Mm-hmm. without compromising usability that's that's obviously really important so i think just trying to get better at that because yeah. looking at how the stuff that i made in the beginning compared to now is is night and day like i just look at those bags and i'm like oh my gosh you can't even really use that thing you know mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm, it's just I mean, funny looking at them it looks like you're on the right track Mac here for Manscaped. Gentlemen, our friends over at Manscaped have been working night and day to bring you a below-the-waist grooming experience like none other with their brand new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. We're talking about a next generation trimmer with interchangeable blade heads for whatever shave a mind can imagine. AI is cool, but I think this might be the best technology advancement the world has ever seen. 
upgrade your grooming game to the ultra sphere this year by going to manscaped.com for 20 percent off plus free shipping using the promo code ots golf high tech for low prices manscaped ots golf for 20 percent off plus free shipping we'll see you in the ultra sphere they look great appreciate it yeah the new ones and then i have been making this stand bag you might be able to see on there that i'm really excited about second yeah. iteration of it i'm looking at one right over here my roommates but yeah second iteration so really excited about that there's a gray one in there yeah i'm looking at there right now Look great. yeah that that one's really ex- exciting to me that's where i wanted to take it tyler was the stand bag so before cool. the before they were all um you know they didn't have stands like they were kind of uh more of like a Sunday style bag, if you will, like yep. that type of thing. So yep. um, over the shoulder, one trap. Um, so you've gone to, you know, like we say, different iterations. You've added the stand, double straps, things like that. So um, how's that process work? Like at getting the stand on everything, working good on it? Like you're liking the way that it sets up with the bag? You're liking the way it feels? Yeah, I like this stand. I think it – we've had – at some points it might not spring out as much as we'd like, but I think I've found that giving it a little nudge is better than the stands that when they fling out, they, I think they deteriorate faster Right. when they just shoot, shoot, shoot. shoot. And, the, and I think the worst thing is when it overshoots. So it, if anything, it doesn't spring out enough, right? Mm-hmm. This makes sense, right? Yeah. yeah. Not, and so I, don't, I don't sound crazy. No, no, no. I know exactly what you mean. I don't put a lot of stuff in my golf bag either. Like, I remember back in the day, like I've talked about on the pod before, when I used to go play matches, I put like, I, I think I used to think it was cool. I put like three balls in my bag and like, you know, but now I have a couple more things in there. But like, I'm a minimalist. I like to walk a lot. So I don't, like, if I'm carrying, I don't have a lot of stuff in there at all. And I noticed that. A lot of people do and then when you put it down on like a vinyl floor or wood floor or something like that and the legs just kind of like, like slide out yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah gross yeah gross. so that's kind of and then after that happens yeah, a couple times the, ba- the bag is toast right then you have a just a yeah bag, right so oh you can't, yeah that it, that that's a gross one in my opinion yeah. but yeah you don't want to you don't want that to be happening so i you know I, at some points i maybe would wish it would do that more but it's not too much to just grab it with your foot a little bit i've found yeah, of course, man. Because I've se- yeah, so go for it. No, I was gonna uh, I was gonna kind of segue into some of the customization that you guys have. Cool. So I'm, I'm like looking Perfect. through them a bit, like the CMDG bags, like the uh, yeah, they're so yeah. like that guy stuff's so cool, man. But like I'm looking at kind yes. of some of those, and then the post above it you did with hourglass clubs, like yeah, are yep. people able to reach out if they want to build a custom bag for like sure? You? Yeah, you can do like yeah, a lot of one. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and that's that's honestly why I was happy to connect and do this with you because I, I just don't do a good enough job of explaining that. And yeah, the, the the whole operation is basically we'll yeah we'll take any custom order, one person, you name it, two hundred bucks. We we got you. There's a thing online where you can do it. You can design your own, like the Nike ID, mm-hmm. Nike you know the Nike shoes. Yeah. So. So that's in there. I just, frankly, just haven't done a good enough job kind of explaining that. So are you guys with the customization? Do you stick to that same base model or can people kind of put pockets where they want? Yeah, they could. People okay. don't a lot, but I totally, I would totally welcome it. Yeah, you can. Cool. We'll work with whatever you want to do. That's awesome. I see this. I don't totally... know if there's any other bag companies that really offer that. On t- off yeah, top I don't think so. Thing. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's. That's definitely the one area where what we're doing is the most unique. Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet. I totally forgot that you guys had done one for Mac. I remember him posting this a while ago. Oh yeah, Mac, yeah. Mac's a friend of ours, friend of the pod. He's been on a few times before. Oh so sweet. I remember him. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember him him playing with that bag a little while ago. Oh yeah, that he like that posted, thing was awesome. Yeah, he posted a video of it. That wasn't that. I guess that was 2021 that i guess was a while ago. late 2021 yeah, that was a while ago. 2022 that was a little while ago i guess yeah but yeah late 2021 yeah so if if we want to you know if somebody wants to create a new order with you tyler and come to you and like they have a vision for a bag how does this setup work with you like you just um can you kind of like walk that through if i want to contact you i have a bit of a vision yeah. for a bag can you kind of give us the steps that you would go through with me yeah so honestly the easiest way to really do it is just message through instagram and if you want, we can move you to email from there and then 
it's as simple as yeah sending in just kind of some instructions as well as like artwork if you are supplying your own artwork um and then it's as yeah it's as simple as sending that to me and then we will find a way to yeah we we use it our uh, an ipad and just fill the fill the bag send you some mock-ups and could have you done in an hour or so i love that man that's so cool that's that's amazing. yes it's just it's just raw front back and forth leather with embroidery whatever you want to do and so, so now now you've got a few though in the lineup like you're putting a couple like uh not like custom stock. but a couple stock options out there now yeah that's what i'm tr- yeah i'd like to do that yeah. um and I just love just a streamlined process. No inventory mm. makes things. Easy. I don't know. It's just I like that more. But I will. I'll more so just buy like twelve or twenty, and then stock them that way, you know, and get those made, and then try and turn those around instead of just holding it. So constant almost like inventory. a limited drop kind of system. Yeah, which which I should get better at which is something I'd like to get better at and, you know, hyping that or however you get, you know, looks on it. I mean, like Max says, like you're still early and you don't want to listen to a few of our early pods. I mean, you'll get better and you'll figure out ways to do it. <laughs> exactly. So I'm exactly. sure you'll be all right. Yeah. I, I've wiped yeah. some of those things from the existence. You can go back and find some of them. <laughs> like if you go back deep enough on Apple or Spotify, you'll find them. But those things are gone off YouTube. I picked up some oh, of those. Man. It's just like, yeah, it's so bad, that man. Is. It's like, it'd be the same thing with you. When you're saying you look at some of the bags, yeah, you're like, oh, you can't even use them or whatever. But like, you know, the one recently that kind of got us talking to you, Tyler, was like the the stock option that you're putting out. But it's like the leather. It's got like the leather sides um and it's kind of like the brown leather i guess right and then it's got a room and stuff worked into it because that's like i got a head cover actually oh it's right here sweet let's see it and go with it from aj at pine let it rip so it's like similar colors to that sick yeah and it's got our logo just like kind of you can't really see it but it's working yeah no that's sick but aj put that together and like you have the bag that's kind of that looks like that so i remember one time I do yep. this. I do this to everybody. So I, I ordered a cover from them, and I said, I don't know, man. Like, do whatever you want. I don't really care. Like, I just uh, like if it had her logo on it, it's cool, and it does like there. If you can, that'll yeah, work. So, sick. Like, sick. So he sent that, and those are like my high school colors, right? So when you, it was just random. I didn't know that. I didn't know what colors I was getting. So when you posted that bag, I kind of thought like those go together. That would look like really cool. Um, For sure. And it is like one of your stock options that you're that you're trying to do now right which i think is yeah. if somebody likes that that's cool it's a lot easier for you i bet too right to have a few of those on hand and then you just kind of ship them out yeah as you can right for sure because there's a yeah there's just a lot of times that people just want something now and yeah. they don't care what you know they're not as picky so it's it is good to always have stuff around i have learned that you don't want to run zero inventory in my opinion you know you're just just low did but, you <clears throat> sorry did you draw like inspiration from any any bags or anything like have you um, oh for sure like i i can see some resemblances or um in some of the bags that i've seen like is there a couple out there a couple brands or anything that you've uh either connected with or kind of looked to for some inspiration um yeah for sure so definitely i mean once i started seeing the original inspiration was definitely like uh Seamus, I think at first it was that like a Seamus Walker bag that I saw whenever that would have been 20. Well, that's they, those are things have been around a while actually, but that thing and then Jones a little bit, but and Mackenzie a little bit, but not that much. Mostly, mostly that Seamus bag because it just seemed because it, it was the first one that had super respect to old school but like also yeah kind of modern style yeah it had a more it, had, it was the first one to have like a modern more modern kind of finish to it now, which I, I thought was really cool i but, always said yeah. my favorite bag was the uh stitch sl2 which you're yeah kind of are similar to with the for no, sure no ball pocket at the back and and just the sides kind of but i just know yeah it looks no so pocket on the top style. yeah for sure. Yeah, the stand bag, I definitely, mo- this new stand bag I'm doing, I definitely took from the stitch mm-hmm. outline, 
which is kind of is funny because that's kind of like a unique outline. Like they, the world kind of fell in love with that thing on the on the back where you where it always bump out, but the stitch and mine just have the two sides. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I like, like that. It looks cleaner. I think so. Yeah. So what's the uh, what's the typical um, like lead time if you want to get a bag? Kind of either would it be a little bit different? You said it only takes like an hour to kind of customize it with you. So I guess not all yeah. that much difference in time. But um, if we're uh, if we're getting interested in getting a bag and we want to uh, we want to place an order, what's typically lead time to like get it in our hands? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right now we've been functioning at like four weeks, about four maybe five weeks. So that's not bad at all from order. I mean. You see long lead times just all over nowadays. Yeah, especially with customers. Four, customers. Yeah, it's just it's just a hard process to do, you know. So four or five weeks, and I don't. Yeah, I think that's pretty good comparatively, honestly. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, man. What's the? How much do they weigh? Uh, this the carry bags like two and a half for the for the printed cordura fabric, and then. The leather varies, but it's a little more. Two point eight pounds, which is still on the lower end of the spectrum. But yes, the... yeah, for sure. For sure, it's, it's like pretty similar to to like the super light ping or tight yeah, ones. You I know? have the ping crazy light, and I think it's two point six pounds. Somewhere in there. I mean, because at some point it's just all fabric, basically. Mm-hmm. Like nothing on that thing weighs anything. Yeah. You know, it's just basically at some point you have to make, you can only get it so light. Yeah. For, yeah for it sure. still has to be X size, you know? And then, like, you could take all the pockets and stuff off, but then, like, is it a golf bag? Like, like, yeah. Like, what's, or, like, what's, yeah. What's, what's going on? I exactly. know. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your bag looking like right now, Tyler? Uh, I switch around a lot. It's I'm I'm using that gray stand bag, the prototype. Yeah, I think that was like one of your last posts that you put up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So funny, I man. use, I I just it's just for the better that I use that. Well, but I, I'll switch between all kinds of prototypes and just stuff we're messing around with. Are you, you get working? a lot of people? At, go ahead, Bryce. Or go ahead. A lot of people go. asking about it when you're out playing. For sure. Yeah, definitely. For sure, it's, you definitely don't see it too yeah. often. Especially um, if I use a different, like one of the Sunday bags, it's a yeah, little yeah. more vibrant. Yeah, like you, you get know. those patterns out there and stuff, and I think it'd be pretty attractive to some people to be people, able to yeah. customize them as much as yeah, they that possibly was the like, right? Like it would be. Yeah, that was the original thought. It was like, yeah, why not? Thing. Why why can't these be custom? And exactly. then just kind of figured out that they could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and so many of the options um, and the styles kind of that we've talked about when you're wanting to customize a bag like that, it's not attainable for a lot of people like financially, like it's, it's a lot of money, right? So yeah, um, it's kind of good that you're offering like quality product that's able to kind of hit that market and still get 200. Yeah. Yeah. Cause McKinsey does it. It's expensive. It's a great, the great product, the great, you know, service they're offering, but Obviously, not everyone can can fit into that yeah. price point. So yeah, and cool like, to scoop up the people that can't, you know. Of course, right? And there's got to be different markets for everyone, right? So then for different con- levels of consumers, yeah. yeah, exactly, right? So there's also, um, you know, in that kind of old school, like where I found the old school look was the Chaplin bag that kind of like really caught my eye and like really got me interested. And those are a yeah, little, little bit bigger. Um, I think definitely than, than your model, um, but have like the leather handles and stuff. They're like really nice, kind of like, yeah, you know, outfit, kind of like yours too. Right. So, um, but then that's like a different price point. And then the McKenzie bags on top of that would be like even a different price point from that. Right. So you have to be able to like, I think your market for people that are looking for that, they'll, uh, they'll definitely find you for sure. Right. Mm-hmm. Is there, um, anything else Tyler that you're working on? Are you working on like a different model or anything by chance? Um, will you ever like move away, f- not away from bags, but will you ever move to other products or are you <laughs> just solely in the bag space? No, I, that's a good question. So yeah, for now I'm super excited about the stand bag and working with stand bags more so because they are more user friendly, I guess. Functional. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so a wider, a wider lo- group of people can can mm-hmm. purchase them, fit into that 
the Sunday bag is like more so for more experienced players, I would say, generally. But the stand bag opens up to everyone, and I think making getting that super crisp and clean, and I think this iteration is getting to very close to where I want it to be. So this, yeah, I have a bunch of these gray and green stand bags coming soon. They'll be ready to ship in, a, I think, just a week or two now. Mm. So super stinking excited about those. Love that. It's been man. a long time coming. Yeah, super excited about that. And then get that and turn around and do another run and just keep keep trying to make it a little a little better, you know, take feedback and do it what I think is the right way, you know. So at this point in time, we're four years in, like you said. How yep. many Tyler bags we got in existence? Do we know? In the world. Do we have an idea? Yeah, it's uh I was looking at it recently it's like so, somewhere just under 2000 wow Whoa. good for you so man. More than four years than nice yeah not too bad they're awesome and i'm sure it's like each year probably doubling too like it's 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 not unfortunately oh, no? that's what we're trying to figure out no not, so we it was slower than that and kind of more like a 10 percent gain but that's kind of the next step was Originally, the dream was to build something that can, that can you know, pay to keep me alive, and I figured out how to do that. But the next step is kind of I'm trying to figure out what that is is pretty tough. So mm-hmm. that's kind of what's in store is finding out how to you know do it properly and take it to the next level. Well, we got a bunch of really great listeners here, Tyler. So anybody who uh, love to hear is that. interested, go yeah, down. Please show notes below. You can click, Please. go over to the Instagram. You'll get lost like many of the other pages with many of the other creators that we've had on. You'll yeah. you'll be like deep in a rabbit hole. Uh, TylerGolfBags.com. You can use Hugo right now for free shipping, I see, too. Yep. Yes, sir. So there you go. Coming from San Diego, California. Place. Right? So That's right. Yeah, so we. Uh, I know you got to run. I know you got to get out the door in a few minutes. We really appreciate you taking the time. Um, hey, thank you. They're beautiful bags, man. We'll uh, we'll connect. But yeah, if you're interested, you have any questions for us, shoot us a message. Or if you have any questions about the bag, definitely go right uh, over to, you know, like I say, Tyler Golf Bags. The Instagram handle is just below the website as well. Have a look. See if you like a bag. You can have a new one in like five, six weeks, maybe even less. Yes, right? sir. Fully custom. Let us know. Fully custom yep. too. Stay in, yeah, stay stay tuned with what we're doing. I think we're making stuff that I think is cool, and I think I think people will continue to receive it well. Love that, man. All right, well, we're gonna uh, when we got a bit more time, when you kind of get a couple more uh, layers deep into this thing, we'll have to run it back and have a chat again. Hundred percent. All right, Tyler. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. He's out in my ball and of course so I tee up. Uh, I lose the ball and I re up. I miss a fairway, I probably end up in the ocean or maybe the beach. And I'm on a part five and I'm finna go reach it. Second was blind, I see it. Feel like it might be an average. I was working scenario.